Hi my fellow queens, welcome back to my channel. For everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. <laughs> so, so good you're here. Anyway, today we're going to do this look and as you will find out, I had no idea how I would want to call this. I was brainstorming with my best friend, how should I call this? And I was coming up with names and she was coming up with, up with names and I just dumped all the names because you will see once we get into the video that my little daughter uh, Kineret just came in while I was trying to film. So I'm just going to call this the Kiki Rap because her name is Kineret and her nickname is Kiki. So this is the Kiki Rap. So that's what we're going to do today. And this is also an installment of the um, One Rap Two Ways kind of series. And it is of course in collaboration with Rapunzel. So everything that I'm using or everything that I'm talking about, you will be find linked in the description box. <laughs> English is still struggling. Okay, so that's what we'll do today. And without further ado, let's go right into the first look. Hi friends, welcome back. So let's go straight into the first look. <laughs> hey, come in. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What do you want, sweetie? I want to help to you. <laughs> Look. So this is Kinaran. Thank you for coming to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you want to help mommy? Yeah. Okay, so you finished your shower? Yeah. Yeah, your hair is still wet? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to help mommy so you can go and get the scarves for mommy, okay? Okay. Up here? Yes, come. You want to show the scarves that Ima is yeah. wrapping today? Okay, so look, everybody. Yeah, they can't see you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this here is a beautiful, beautiful scarf. And unfortunately, we don't have that on the website anymore. It is a serene silk scarf, but I will include a couple of uh, things later that um, you can use instead. Okay? You like this one? Yeah. Is it pretty? It's yeah. so pretty. Look at these Colors. Yeah, blue. <laughs> yeah, blue. <laughs> okay, so what else do we like? Um, Come closer. I like that. You like this one. This is, wait, show it the other way around. This is the Dreams Come True scarf and it's beyond beautiful with all the colors. Okay, now, which one is next? That. That's the New York Brides in green. One of my all-time favorites. As you know, if you're... You know, if you're here on my channel very often. <laughs> and this one, that's the last one. This is the original two-in-one in rich purple. <laughs> so, Kiki. Mm. This is Kiki. Did I say that it is Kiki? Yeah. This is, you know, you remember Shall Have It, the one that chose my makeup the other day. So this, Kiki, is Shall Have It's twin sister. You wouldn't believe because they don't look anything like twins, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay, go and eat dinner, okay? I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming in a, few, like in a few minutes, okay? Bye. Bye. So let's get right back into this. <laughs> I'm wearing the Wendy Shaper because it's just my favorite feel-good uh, shaper, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so my first look is going to be with the New York Brights and the Dreams Come True scarf. And you can use whatever you want. You can, like, whatever, you know, be all over the place. So, I'm going to put this down from the back up, you know. I'm lining it up with the uh, lowest part here of my shaper. And... I'm going up like this, like that, okay? Then I'm taking the Dreams Come True scarf, and you have to be a little bit careful with this one because the, like the left side, the side that you don't want to see is white. It doesn't have the same coloration like the other one. So you have to fold it in a little bit so it does not show the, the wrong side, sort of. And then you place it at the back here and you uh, tie a knot here in the front like this 
<laughs> and this is how you go out. <laughs> All right. Now, if you take a scarf here, instead of the New York Bright set is a little bit bigger, that would be easier. You will see that later when I'm using the two in one, but because I still want to use this, I am just pulling it down a tiny little bit and I'm taking a pin and I'm just pinning down the, so it doesn't move up too much, okay? I have a pin cushion here <laughs> with all kinds of colorful pins that I'm using for wrapping. And so I'm just pinning this down a tiny little bit like this. Don't hurt yourselves. <laughs> okay, now we're all set here. And now I'm just pulling up the sides. like this and like that sorry for not looking at you but i'm looking here in my mirror place it whichever way you want and it's just such a nice pattern that is being created just by itself just by just being the new york brides and then you just tie it in the back like this. So I'm taking this part here and again you can always decide which side you want to do the the feature piece. Um, for me I, I don't know what it is but for me it always goes on this side. I don't know. That's just how my brain works. I don't know. Okay so this here I'm pulling it just around here and then I'm tucking it in in the back. like this and then i'm taking this here up flipping it up like this and spreading it out a little bit and basically covering half of the shaper and tugging it in to the new york brides into the knot as well and that is it it isn't it gorgeous <laughs> So then you can just, you know, feel free to adjust everything here, um, whichever way you want. And I think I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. So this is the finished first look. So with half of the work done, let's go right into the second look. Okay, friends, welcome to the second look. And for that, I'm going to use the two in one. And again, I'm placing it from the back up, lining it up in the back to here. Okay, like this. And then I'm taking the Serene Silk Scarf. And as I said before, it is not available anymore, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I got this as PR from Rapunzel a, a while back <laughs> and it's not on the website anymore. But I went on the website and I just want to give you some suggestions what else you could use. So I found there the Watercolor Dream Scarf. I'm going to include pictures of what I'm mentioning like right here. It is so beautiful. I could just imagine, you know, do a wrap with this and some kind of unicolor um, two-in-one or something like that instead of what I'm doing now or the Savannah Sunrise scarf. <laughs> you know, if you are into animal print, that is so gorgeous. If you back up something like this with a unicolor so it makes the pattern pop, really, but... The best one that I fell in love so hard when I went on the website is the Can't Catch Me Scarf. Have you ever seen anything like this? I love that one. So <laughs> with this one, I would want to be caught anytime. Anyway, <laughs> so, you know, feel free to whatever, um, do whatever you want with this look. I'm just saying, uh, unfortunately, this one here is not available anymore, but as far as I know, so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah. So I'm placing this again at the back of my head 
like this and I'm tying a knot here. So as you can see here, the uh, two-in-one extends much further down than the New York Pride, so it's much easier. But if you want to do the New York Pride's look and you prefer a smaller shaper, you won't have any issue. That's just because I'm wearing the Wendy shaper, okay? So now again, I'm bringing up the side tail ends or whatever it's called of the two-in-one like this. like this okay had to f sort of my sort out my life here for for a second okay and i'm crossing them over like this and tying it in the back just as we did before okay next step again i'm pulling this one over and because this one is slip, slippery a little bit because it's silk so you have to take the uh, in consideration what the, the material or the, the fabric is so you might have to you know use double knots or or pins or something to reinforce this look so it doesn't slip away <laughs> okay so i'm just tucking this in here in the back wherever wherever you find a place to tuck this in and again, I'm just flipping this part over and covering half of the shaper, approximately. I tried this look and you will, if you follow me on my other social media, you will probably see at some point looks coming up where I'm wearing this kind of a look in uh, different kinds of uh, combinations of um, pashminas and, and scarves and all of these things. So I'm sure you'll recognize it. <laughs> I did that with uh, different kinds of pashminas and things like that and it came out so beautiful because that has the advantage that they don't slip and once you put them down they are there, right? So with this one it is very very beautiful but it is a little bit slippery because of the material. So again, I'm taking my pin cushion and I'm just, once I have the, the pleats, the pleats, I think it's pleats, right? Down the way I want, I'm just, you know, fastening it a little bit with, uh, with pins so they don't move. Like this. You don't see what I'm doing, but you just have to believe me <laughs> that that's what I'm doing. So, and that's the look. What I really like about this look is that it really looks way more difficult than it is. It's really very, very easy and it looks so fancy. So this is, you know, I love stuff like that, that it it's no effort at all, but it comes out looking so regal and cool and depending on which kind of color combinations you use of course you can tone it down and just use a brown and a beige and be very subdued and look really really fancy or use a shimmery you know or something like this like ugh, so many options so, okay so um what's left to say last time i forgot to uh include a picture of my finished look so i'm tr i'm doing this today like i am doing it i'm trying to not forget it <laughs> while editing to include that picture sorry i forgot last time um if you want as you know i have an affiliate code with rapunzel if you want to use that then feel free to do so when you order something you'll get five percent of your order and besides that feel free to follow me on my other social media all the information also about my makeup you will find of course as always in the description box and something else <laughs> in my own um, 
a matter that that concerns me with my channel i just want to <laughs> sort of warn you that i have extreme trouble with my camera uh, with the functioning of my camera i'm running into like problems all of the time and if i cannot upload at some point it's not because i've fallen off the face of the earth it's just because i couldn't film because of camera trouble and we're trying to fix it we're trying to get there but it's like don't be alarmed if I cannot do an upload that I usually do okay I'm doing my best we're trying to figure it out <laughs> and um, yeah I hope it'll all be good and we'll have a happy end in this regard <laughs> Besides technical difficulties, but I really love to have you here and I love to be here with you. So if you're new here, please consider to subscribe to my channel because it's just a place of beauty and happiness and uh, being bold and being colorful and allowing ourselves to just step out of our comfort zone and do new stuff. So I really, really love doing that and I would love to take you along for the journey. And besides that, <laughs> I hope to see you here next time for my next video. And up until then, go ahead and sparkle, rock your wraps. Until I see you again, hugs and kisses. Bye. Mm -hmm.